some natural born and we some feelings. We 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 some natural born feelings. gentlemen the real dirty brawlers have arrived and here comes one of their opponents in this tag team match that's right well moments away from finding out who his partner is that's exactly uh what we're going to reveal after this and is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing the villains, they are the team of Thrash and Brawler Morrison. Together they are the real Dirty Brawlers. And now, direct your attention to the monitor. Well, Justin, Justin Lee looks like he's very pleased with the fans' decision for his partner here. Yeah, he's saying he likes it. He's, he's got a smile on his face. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that the brawlers were actually hoping for Johnny Lightning because Tim Rockwell took him out, so that would have left Justin Lee up pretty much by himself. But Kurt Gannon, a powerhouse in this ring. A man who Travis Fowlhark and I have mentioned on many occasions has one direction, he's straight ahead, he has one expression, uh, and that is always, he always looks just slightly upset about everything. <laughs> yeah. And tonight, he and Justin Lee, and I will say this, Justin Lee and Kurt Gannon have never tagged before. The Real Dirty Brawlers, of course, former WFC tag team champions. So, I mean, in, in whatever situation it was that, that Justin Lee was gonna find himself here, he's gonna find himself kind of battling uphill because none of the people that he was potentially going to end up together with were former tag team partners of his. But why not somebody that could probably match the strength set of both Brawler Morrison and Thrash? I think this is the best decision of the three, honestly. Uh, Kirk Gannon, of course, uh, certainly a, a powerhouse, a, a size, uh, a monster there. The same can be said for Thrash. Morrison and Justin Lee, uh, more in the well, Morrison, of course, at one point, assuming well, Lee at one point, certainly a, a light heavyweight, a top level light heavyweight uh, who transitioned to the heavyweight area. And Morrison, kind of the same. While he never held a light heavyweight title like Justin did, he started as a smaller guy. Both of them technical wrestlers when they want to be. Morrison can wrestle, and he has demonstrated that on many, many occasions. He certainly is very adept at the pure wrestling style, the uh, Kamisama rules. I have seen him in very many of those matches. But Justin Lee showing his abilities right here is he's got control of the ankle as Morrison having to make his way to the ring ropes to break that. They call Morrison the heavy hitter. Well, Morrison taken over there by Lee who again 
Oh, just takes control with the head there. Keeping Morrison trapped on there and the gator roll from Lee. And now from behind, Lee showing off some amateur skills. It's, it's almost like they heard you. They're trying to put, us, put on a technical. Oh, Morrison in the oh. wrong corner there as he immediately backed off from Kurt Gannon. Half and half, nope. Takes Brawler Morrison down to his knees. A nice, nice show of um, veteran mentality there as he controlled the head and then utilized that body part, well, Morrison, that joint manipulation there. And again, Morrison having to reach for the ropes, but Justin Lee does not break off, does not create any separation, really. He maintains control as he's reaching back to make the tag to Kurt Gannon. Here comes and the Morrison, cyclone. Morrison, look, look at Gannon. Ooh. Gannon just slowly moseyed up to, to Morrison. Oh, and now Gannon, Gannon gonna maybe separate some fingers here. Oh, just using his shoulder as a weapon there. Again, maintaining that control, maintaining that contact with the hand, with the wrist, making sure that Morrison not able to. Make his way back to Thrash. Ooh. And once again, bending those fingers ways they do not belong. And you can hear oh! the cries of pain from Morrison. And right they're about here. to get much worse there. And Morrison. Ooh. And it was, that was not a situation that Gannon had to allow. He he chose to let Morrison get out. Because I think we got two big bulls here. Uh, this situation has me very curious. Which one of these guys are going to be able to outpower the other? Well, Thrash swings first, but Gannon connects first. Near the midsection there. Thrash looks like he, that's never happened before. Thrash looks surprised. Not often that a man of Thrash's size gets taken off his feet and gets taken off of it forcibly. And look out here as Gannon, well, I thought maybe he was going to go for like a head and arm, but instead, ooh, taking Morrison down, going to go for a, for a heel hook. He's, Morrison's in the ropes, though. And the ring awareness of Morrison so far in this match has been incredible. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of surprised at how technical this match has, has been so far. That, you know, Morrison... Like I said, while he can wrestle and while he does like to show off his wrestling skills, I really expected him to try to go force for force, especially with Justin, yeah. perhaps so with Kurt Gannon. But instead, Gannon and Justin really have been out-wrestling Morrison, and that is not easy to do. No, nope, not at all. Morrison just really making friends with the ropes here in order to, uh, to keep Gannon from being in control and the look of frustration on an already unpleasant looking face of Brawler Morrison as he is backed into the enemy territory tag and here comes Justin Lee. Well, we, we talked earlier about how Justin Lee and Kirk Gannon were gonna be climbing uphill because they've never tagged together, but so far they've been dominating the matchup. Justin Lee giving these fans what they signed up for here tonight at Fandetta. Oh, Justin has always been a man who has uh, taken what the fans said to heart as he is now going to mount up in the uh, in the enemy territory, and that's not a smart move on his oh. part, as saw right there. That was not a smart move. Now Morrison just stomping on Justin Lee before he drops the elbow right here in the center of the ring. Morrison now senses the opportunity to gain a little bit of revenge for what was done for him, to him rather, for the first few minutes of this match. Justin Lee works his way back up to his feet. Gives a few elbow shots to the midsection, but probably Morrison just not letting him get anywhere with that. And you got to think that this is the scenario that the Dirty Brawlers want. They want Justin Lee to be the one that's isolated and cut off from his partner. Because he can't match strength and size with either Brawler Morrison or Thrash. And Thrash now cinching in the bear hug on Justin Lee. Mm. Huge arms of 
a thrash, just squeezing. And you can see Kurt Gannon trying to rally support here from the WFC faithful. As Justin looks like he's beginning to fade a little His bit. His arms look like they're going limp. Thrash moving him around, trying to, to make him use up what little energy he has left before backing him into the corner. Thrash creating some distance, gonna charge in, but straight into the boots of Thrash. Or should we have Justin Lee? Lee off the top, high crossbody, the rolls through, not able to execute the pin. The Broken Arrow Bad Boy needs to get a tag here. And Morrison, Morrison on his way over. Morrison gonna sweep the leg and pull Gannon down. So Lee unable to make the tag in the corner. Which he desperately needed. And Thrash, quick to follow up. A big body splash there in the corner. Taking Justin Lee off his feet again. Yeah, Justin is, I think Justin's out here. Is this it right here? No, somehow, because Gannon couldn't get back up on the apron in time to make the save. Somehow Justin Lee able to get that shoulder up. But now the real Dirty Brawlers seem to be back on the same page. Seem to be functioning like the former WFC Tag Team Champions that they are. Oh, Kurt Gannon tries to enter the fray, but the ref stops him. He catches Thrash before Thrash can really help Morrison dole out more punishment. And Morrison basically trying to bait Gannon in. Gannon not following for it, but Morrison honestly not really caring that much as he is focused exclusively on Justin Lee. Here we go, looks like he'll be setting up for a superplex here. Oh, Justin Lee fighting out of it with some punches to the midsection. Ooh, one to the head. Just rocking Brawler Morrison with those shots to the head. Oh, Morrison off, Morrison down. Lee trying to get his legs underneath him. He's taking a tremendous amount of punishment here. And he can't get that solid footing like he's accustomed to. Ooh. Oh! Lee down, takes a nasty landing right on his, on his neck. And he's moving. He's moving the ref, starting to count him down. Four. Kirk Gannon trying to get these fans, as you mentioned earlier, rally yeah. behind Justin Lee. Yeah, I think right now is really a desperation situation for Justin if he can figure out where Gannon is. He doesn't, he doesn't know where he is, much less where his partner is. But he makes the tag, and oh. here comes Gannon. And Brawler Morrison makes the tag, and Thrash enters the fray as well. The two big men back in the ring together, and Morrison really not taking the opportunity to be outside too long. Gannon's going to have to fight both men on his own because Justin Lee is basically incapacitated on the outside. Oh, and Gannon moves out of the way as Thrash body splashes his own partner. Miscommunication there on the part of the Brawlers as Gannon tossing Morrison, and Gannon goes, hooks the leg, but only able to get one. Oh, clubbing blow to the back there of Kurt Gannon. And the ref's got to get control of the dirty brawlers here. He's got to get he's got to get Thrash out of here. Yeah, referee sorry, Dylan Phelps. I, I gotta say, referee Dylan Phelps has not been the most assertive referee tonight. The blindfold match, chicanery, and, and now letting both the brawlers. Thrash doesn't seem to be aware that Gannon isn't really where he wants him to be there. And he got a kick to the back to show for and, it. Oh my God, Gannon! There's no way are he you can, serious? No. Can Gannon pull this oh! off? Oh! Oh my God, a German suplex from the second rope there from Kurt Gannon. Did that take as much out of Gannon as it clearly did out of Thrash though? I don't know if I've ever seen Thrash get suplexed at all. Well, that, Gannon making the tag into Justin Lee, but Justin barely able to stand upright. Oh, ducks, he ducks one there, 55 mile an hour kick, but that was more like 30. There's 55! Is that gonna be it? Justin hopes so, and it he is. is! Surprise victory here. Your winners, Kurt Gannon and Justin Lee! Well, the fans voted on who they thought was the best option for Justin Lee, and it turns out they were right. The fans came through here for Justin Lee, and the real dirty brawlers we're unable to uh, to pull out a victory.
against another duo. And we've been seeing this on several occasions tonight where it seems like men that have been solo competitors are finding partners or finding opportunities to, uh, to pair up with somebody. Yeah, a lot of intriguing, possibly new pairs here for WFC. And it's not very often you see Thrash having to be helped out. No, I, I can't recall the last time I've had, but I've seen that.